My name's Dom Villarreal. This is Google Analytics 360. If we don't start with that, then this whole video was just a waste. Excited. Well, let's go ahead and look behind question number one. Here we go. How do I purchase Google Analytics 360? In order to purchase Google Analytics 360, most organizations are going to have to go through a certified reseller. Um, so through that reseller, you'll be able to purchase Google Analytics 360 among some of the other products that the Google marketing platform offers, such as Display and Video 360 and Campaign Manager 360. Love it. Yes. Right. Number two, nice and easy. So can I buy GA360 directly from Google? So historically, you did have the opportunity to buy directly from Google as well as get some sort of level of support from Google. Now Google wants to focus more specifically on creating better products that allow you to better understand and target your audiences. So this is why Google highly recommends you go through a certified reseller. I love it. All right, there we go. Number three, if I can get that little piece of tape off. Come on now. What is a Google Marketing Platform sales partner? So first of all, there are Google Marketing Platform partners, and these are agencies or consultancies that are certified in the actual products themselves, like Google Analytics 360, and they have the ability to work with you and support you by best leveraging the, the actual product itself for your organization. Now, the other level, which is the level above, is the sales partner, and that sales partner not only can support you but they can actually resell you the licenses like Google Analytics 360. Now, because of this, there's a lot of rigorous testing that comes into it. And so Google only picks a few partners that are able to resell their licenses. All right, moving right along. Tape is sticky. Why do we need support for GA360? That's a very good question. And oftentimes that's a question that we get from some of our own um, partners is, I'm just interested in buying the license itself. Do I need the support? Something to consider with the support itself. With Google, they do provide some sort of SLAs with each product that they resell. So in case the product breaks, um, you have the ability to reach out to them and they have to get back to you within a certain period of time. But when it comes to training, when it comes to educating you on how to best leverage the platform, that's not something that Google does, and that's something that we would highly recommend you work with your partner on. So this support can be used from everything from working in the actual uh, user interface itself by creating events. It can be used for um, answering questions for you all, helping with troubleshooting. It can be used for even customized training on how to best leverage the platform. It really does depend on the need of each organization. Nice. Okay. I love it. Moving right along. Are Google Analytics 360 and Google Analytics for different things? Google Analytics is Google's product that allows you to track and measure your customer's behavior across your digital properties. Now, the way I like to think of this example is thinking about the Ford F-150. So traditionally, underneath the hood of the Ford F-150, it was a combustion engine. Now we're seeing that shift to an electric engine. Google is doing the exact same thing. Google Analytics historically was underneath the hood was Universal Analytics. Google is shifting that to Google Analytics 4. So it's still the same frame, it's just different underneath the hood. Now, if we think about Google Analytics 360, this is an upgraded version of Google Analytics to give you more power. So think of it as a Ford F-150, you want more power, you're gonna go do a Ford 250 instead. The reason why enterprises do this is because they wanna have more power when it comes to uh, customization of what they wanna track on their customer journeys, the ability to collect more unsampled data, dedicated SLAs from Google, and a few other things as well. So if you can see it overall, Google Analytics underneath the hood is Google Analytics 4, and then the upgraded version of it gives you more power and more flexibility to collect and track and measure your customer behaviors. How was that? It can't get any more clear than that. Yes! Yes! Come on! Woo! That's right, man. We're good. We're good. <laughs> oh, these are these are all great questions. Let's keep going. Oh, yes. How, how much does Google Analytics 360 cost? This is a big procurement question. Google Analytics 360, the cost of it is going to depend on a few factors. So first of all, it's going to depend on the amount of traffic that your Google Analytics 360 account collects over time. It's gonna depend on the amount of support that is needed from your team, from your dedicated partner. Depending on the number of websites you have, the number of mobile applications you use that collect traffic, these are all different types of considerations. It's up to you to speak with those different partners that you're considering leveraging, and they will be able to give you a more specific number. But you're gonna say, Dom, you didn't give us pricing. Well, first of all, if someone's giving you a cost right out the gate, 
you need to walk away because in order for us to give you the best estimate for the investment, it's going to take a little bit of discovery. We need to understand what type of websites you have, what type of customer journeys are you trying to track, how many different global markets you may play in, because we have some organizations that are in hundreds of different countries, but we also work with some organizations that only have one to two websites, and that's it. So it, there's no shoe size that fits all. It's up to you to speak with that partner to better understand what does that architecture look like and what's going to be the best fit for your organization. Rick, the next one? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, here we go. All oh, wonderful questions. This is a long one. Here we go. It's got part two, I think. All right. How do I transfer my GA360 license from another partner or from oh, Google itself? There are two ways that you can do this. The first one is if you currently have a direct license with Google, you can work with the partner and you tell the partner that you want to work with them. Once the paperwork is finalized, that partner is going to go to Google and basically alert them that they will be taken over your license. So for example, if a partner came to me and said, we want to work with InfoTrust and we got the paperwork, paperwork finalized, I would reach out to Google saying, Google, this partner is going to be working with InfoTrust starting on this date. Can you please transfer the license? And Google will transfer the license over on the back end, and then they'll flip a switch. Everything should be good. It's the same premise for another partner. Basically, that partner that you choose will work with Google, let them know that they are moving from partner A to partner B. It is imperative that you tell the, the partner that you are leaving what you are doing so they do not downgrade any of your accounts and there's no miscommunication or any sort of troubleshooting errors. Awesome. All right. And for our final question, let's see. How do we get started with GA360? Oh, love that question. Obviously, you're already doing research right now by watching this video. I'm sure you've also looked up some articles from other vendors as well. There are a couple ways that you can go about this. If you currently work with Google in any capacity, you can reach out to your Googler and ask them who are some certified uh, sales partners that can sell us the license, and they should give you a couple names. There's also a portal online that you can go in and you can look up the criteria of the partners that um, can resell the license to you. And then after finding that list, you can determine which of those partners really align with the criteria and what you are as a business. You can reach out to them and go from there. If you ever have any questions, you can feel free to reach out to us at InfoTrust and we'll be more than happy to help. That's a wrap. Woo!